morning students today we are going to learn experimental determination of crystal structure first method is the powder method this method is also known as devasherer method so in this method basically a monochromatic beam of x ray is a pass through a powder of your sample which contain crystal of your compound when this x-ray is passed through this capillary which contain crystal of your sample in powder form it this x-ray then scatter on a thin and give a circular pattern This method is more widely used for the crystal with the simple structures. A monochromatic beam of X-ray is allowed to pass through powder sample in a glass capillary. The powder consists of many small crystal oriented in all possible direction. Hence, the X-ray are diffracted. This ray strikes a circular sphere. Of photochromatic plane. This gives lighted area in the form of circular arc of the lines at different distance. The distance can be converted into scattering angle. These angles are used in Bragg's equation from which interplanar distance d can be calculated. Now, what are the advantage of powder method? The powder sample already contains microcrystal oriented in all possible directions and does not require any rotation. The powder need not to be taken in large quantity. Now we are going to see Lau's photographic method. X-ray from X-ray tube are allowed to pass through a slit to get monochromatic beam of light. This beam is then allowed to strike on a crystal. The scattered X-ray are then made to fall on photographic plate. Due to the diffraction, the film show many spots on different intensity and different sizes. The big spot at the center correspond to unscattered part and other spot are due to the scattered part through various angles. This diffraction pattern indicates the symmetry of crystal. Now just see, this is the crystal and this the x-ray is fall and then this x-ray is scattered and scattered x-ray is fall on photogrammatic plate. What is the picture obtained on photochromatic plane? It is shown here. In this picture, we see that at the center there is a dot. This dot show unscattered X-ray, while all the other dot show scattered X-ray. And from this data, one can identify the step crystal structure of lattice. Now we are going to see interplanar distances B, K, L in cubic system. The interplanar distance is defined as separation between two successive parallel plane of a crystal. For a cubic system or cubic crystal, B is equal to A under root of a divided by under root of h square plus k square plus l square where h k l are miller indices of plane a is the length of each side of cube now for a simple cubic lattice suppose value of a is 1 so d1 for d100 this value is 1 
for d1 1 0 just put the value of h is 1 k is 1 this is 1 by under root 2 for plane d1 for interplanar distance for d11 it is 1 by 3 so theoretical ratio of d100 to that of d110 to that of d11 is 1 is 2 1 by root 2 is 2 1 by root 3 if we solve this it is 1 is to 0 0.707 is to 0 0.577 it is important parameters for FCC theoretical ratio is equal to 1 is to 2 1 by 2 is to 1 2 root 2 is to 1 by root 3 that is if we solve it it is 1 is to 0 0.707 is to 1.514 for BCC crystals this ratio is 1 by 2 is to 1 by root 2 is to 1 by 2 root 3 if we solve it it comes as 1 is to 1.44 is to 0 0.577 now we are going to see determination of crystal structure of NACL by x-ray diffraction this is the important topic generally asked for four mark question in exam we know that Bragg equation is twice d sin theta n is equal to n lambda so from this equation we see that this interplanar distance is inversely proportional to your theta value that is d is inversely proportional to sin theta so if theta 1 theta 2 and theta 3 are the glancing angle for first order reflections on different planes that is 1 0 0 one one zero and one 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 this is the this is the these are values of planes respectively and this is the what crystal structure of NACL where cross show any so on this all these cross show presence of any atom here and dot show presence of shear atom so thus the ratio of three interplanar spacing are given by d100 is to d110 is to d111 is equal to from this equation we can write 1 divided by sin theta 1 is to 1 divided by sin theta 2 is to 1 divided by sin theta 3 these uh, theta values are experimentally obtained so this is the experimental ratio this ratio is compared with standard ratio now what is the standard ratio or theoretical ratio these are the values of your radical ratios so now we are going to see and then crystal structure can be determined the value of theta for first order reflection for three phases of sodium chloride were found to be this is these values are experimentally found 5.9 degree 8.4 degree and 5.2 degree when we put that value into this and solve this so we come with experimental ratio that is comes as 1 is to 0 0.7 is to 1.14 now we compare these values with our periodical ratio so just see here 
this 1 is to 0 0.7 is to 1.14 it is near to your these values so from here we can say that your NaCl is FCC type crystal structure now we are going to see crystal structure of KCL that is sylvi by x-ray refraction for KCL crystal the maximum intensity of first order diffractions were found at 5.38 degree 7.61 degree and 9.38 degree for 100 110 and 11 plane respectively hence the ratio of three interplanar spacing are given by d100 to that of d110 to that of d111 it is equal to 1 is to 0 0.708 is to 0 0.575 now we are compared this experimental ratio with our theoretical ratio so from here we clear cut see that your case here is of simple cubic lattice type of structure so it is the ratio of simple cubic lattice so from x-ray refraction potassium chloride has simple cubic lattice structure now we are going to see crystal structure of cesium chloride from x-ray study of cesium chloride the interplanar distance was found to be 3.150 armstrong also from radius ratio we can calculate r of cc cs plus to that of r of cl minus it is equal to 0 0.93 this ratio indicates that coordination number of each ion is 8 so thus from interplanar distance and radius ratio we can say ccf CCR CCM chloride has body centered cubic lattice structure which is like this your this is your this is your CCM atom and all eight chlorine atoms are present at the eight corner of cube while CCM atom present inside the cube thank you very much